Leader. This is WCIA 3 News at 5. Good evening. I'm Jennifer Roscoe. People in Springfield are still stunned from Friday's shooting that took three lives. Over the weekend, the coroner identified all three employees from Bunomatic that were shot by a co-worker. WCI 3's Gabrielle Franklin explains what the community is doing to honor them. A bed of flowers now lies at the gate, where employees report to work at Bunomatic in Springfield. Colleagues and family members are remembering the lives of 25-year-old Christopher Amler, 61-year-old Bill Gibbons, and 54-year-old Martha Strumfer. All three died of multiple gunshot wounds after their colleague, Michael Collins, opened fire at Bun Friday morning while the warehouse was open. While Springfield police are finalizing their investigation at the scene, Morgan County coroners have turned over theirs to Illinois State Police. The county was handling the area where Collins' body was found of an apparent self-inflicted gunshot wound. On top of the memorial on site at Bunn, friends and family plan to gather Tuesday for a candlelight vigil to honor the lives lost. Reporting in Springfield, Gabrielle Franklin. Tomorrow night's vigil will take place at 7 o'clock at Centennial Park in Springfield. Social distancing guidelines will be enforced. And funeral arrangements have been announced for one of the victims. A visitation for Bill Gibbons will be held Wednesday from 4 to 7 at Butler Funeral Home. Only 50 guests will be allowed in at once and face coverings are required.